Hello, everyone, and welcome to our video on reading and accepting your offer to Carleton University. My name is Emily, and I'm an international admissions and recruitment officer here at Carleton. And I would just like to say that if you are watching this video, you likely already have an offer of admission. So I would like to give you a huge congratulations, uh, and I'd like to welcome you to Carleton. We are so excited to have you come join us uh, and perhaps uh, come to Canada for the very first time. Uh, you're going to have lots of exciting experiences, uh, and we're here to help you and support you along the way. Now, if you haven't yet received an offer, not to worry. Um, we still invite you to watch this video because it has some really important information for when you do receive a decision from us. So where can you find your offer package? You're going to find your offer package in Carleton 360. So go to Carleton 360 and you can log in using your MC1 login credentials that are found in your Carleton email. On the left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the applications tab, which is where you would have gone to uh, submit your application in the first place. You're going to select the applications tab and then you're going to select submitted. So it'll be in the drop down menu and it'll show you your submitted applications. Once you click on that, you'll see the button that says view and accept offer. So this is going to launch your offer to open your offer package in Carleton 360. Now let's go over what you will find in your offer package. So there's going to be a few really important things that you'll uh, read in your offer package. We encourage students to really read it thoroughly at least twice to make sure that you've read all of the information and that you have uh, all of the important things that we are telling you. And then after that, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us and let us know. So the first thing that is gonna be in your offer letter is the actual offer of admission. So we're gonna be welcoming you to the Carleton community. As you can see here, uh, the offer letter will state exactly which program you're being uh, offered admission to. It'll tell you the major or the stream or concentration. It'll let you know if you've applied for co-op that you have been accepted to co-op and it'll let you know the entry term. So if you have applied for the fall 2022 entry term, it's going to say that right at the top of your admissions uh, letter or your offer letter. The next really important piece of information is going to be scholarship information. So just as a refresher, if you came to us with an admissions average of at least 80%, you will be eligible for one of our entrance scholarships. Now, the higher your marks are, the more money we're going to be able to offer you. Our scholarships range from 4,000 Canadian dollars to 16,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, these scholarships are renewable and regainable. So that means that if you're able to maintain an A minus every single year, then we'll be able to give you your scholarship every single year. They are also regainable, meaning that if one year, let's say you get, let's say you're given the $4,000 scholarship. That means that you're going to be given $1,000 every year that you're attending Carleton for your four years, as long as you maintain that average. Now, let's say there's one year where you're not able to maintain an A minus, but then you're able to maintain an A minus the next year we will give you your scholarship for that following year. So if it's lost for one year, it is not lost forever. It is regainable. And this information is going to be right there in your offer letter. So make sure you read it very carefully. The next really important piece of information in your offer letter is going to talk about your offer of residence. So all students who are coming to us from high school and entering first year are given a guaranteed offer of residence you're going to be guaranteed a double traditional room, meaning that you'll have a room in one of our 11 residence buildings, which are located on our campus. And we do offer single rooms and we offer suite style rooms. However, the one that you're going to receive in your offer letter is a double traditional. You must accept your offer of residence by June 8th, 2022. And then after you do this, you'll be able to fill out something called the residence information form. On the residence information form, you have the option to request a single room if that's what you'd like and or a suite style room if that's something that you would like. Once everyone has filled out the residence information form and submitted it, then you'll find out which type of room you're, you're going to be placed in and which building you'll be placed in. So again, this is some really important information here in your letter. Make sure you read it over a couple of times so that you have all of the correct information. 
Now, the fun part is how can I accept my offer? So the really important deadline that you need to make note of is June 1st, 2022. You must accept your offer of admission by this date or the date specified on your offer. So make sure that you review your offer of admission, you review your program choice and the conditions to maintain your offer. And then you can accept your offer of admission on OUAC or the, or the Ontario University's Application Center. Once you do that, then it's time to take a deep breath and celebrate and even throw some confetti if you have some around. You deserve a huge round of applause. The next really important step is to accept your offer of residence if you would like to, uh, if you would like to accept your offer of residence. It's not mandatory, but we do really encourage students to uh, take advantage of living on residence, especially in your first year, because it's so convenient. It uh, will help you to meet other students uh, in the Carleton community, uh, and it's a great way to really get involved on our campus and within our school. So you must accept your offer of admission first, and then you can accept your offer of residence. And the deadline to accept your offer of residence, like I mentioned, is June 8th. 2022 at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a really, really important and non-flexible date. So make sure that you have it in your notes. Make sure that you accept your offer by this date if you want to live uh, on campus at Carleton. After you accept your offer, or sorry, when you go to accept your offer of residence, uh, you will be required to pay your residence deposit. This is a $700 fee um, that you can pay by either credit card or Interact. And this is gonna be the, the finalization of accepting your offer to residents. So once you've paid the $700 deposit, then you are good to go and you have a spot in residence. The rest of your residence fees will come later on in the summer, right before uh, the fall term begins. Now, what's next? You are a raven after, uh, after you accept your offer. And this is a, a very exciting moment. So after you accept your offer, after you accept your uh, spot in residence uh, and you've taken that sigh of relief and you've celebrated, you can now focus on the things that will be coming up later on in the summer. You'll be able to register for your courses and you'll get an email about this. You'll get a few emails um, that will outline how you need to do this, uh, when you're gonna do it and the things that you need in order to be able to register. You're also going to receive some emails about orientation. So we want to welcome you to the Carleton community. We have a few different orientation programs that happen throughout the summer. And then we also have a fall orientation program uh, that happens once you come to Carleton that will allow you to really get integrated into our community and to meet uh, your fellow Ravens as well. We also uh, encourage you to join us at all of our upcoming events. So if you go to our website, which is admissions.carleton.ca slash events, you can see everything we have that is upcoming. Most of them are virtual right now, or all of them are virtual right now. Uh, you can register for them. You can join us at any ones that you want, and you can ask us your questions. So this is your chance to talk to our staff members. Sometimes we have current students here at our events, um, and we're here to support you. So please come join us and ask us any questions that you may have. We invite you to stay connected with us. Um, you, if you haven't already signed up for Carlton 360, please do that. But if you're watching this video, I assume that you are very familiar with Carlton 360 by now. Uh, we have lots of helpful information on our website, which is carlton.ca slash international. And you can always reach out to us at international at carlton.ca. And we're happy to answer your questions and assist you in any way that we can. And of course, we invite you to join us on social media where you can connect with us and see uh, all of the fun and exciting things that are going on. And we'll also be advertising the different events that we are hosting. So thank you so much for joining us today. And again, if you're watching this video, you probably already have an offer. So I just want to extend a huge congratulations to you once again. We are so excited to welcome you to Carleton and we are so excited to welcome you to Canada. So thank you and we will see you soon.